are you ready for round two? That was a little more aggressive than it probably needed to be. So what I am seeing in the viewfinder is that like this area looks really white and then this like blush just looks really stark in comparison. Like, I don't know, in real life, it doesn't look that way. It is kind of cloudy and like gloomy here today. So I have the ring light on. So maybe that's why it looks just like, like reverse raccoon eyes almost. Just bear with me, okay? Hey guys, thanks for coming back to check out another video. So what are we gonna do today? We are gonna, we've done this once before. I will leave the video that we did the first time around of this linked above and down below in case you wanna check it out. But I really enjoyed this last time and a lot of you seem to enjoy it too. So I figured we would make this like a routine kind of thing with our pan those eyeshadows where we already have the shades selected and we let the random number generator tell us where to put it on our eyes. So I don't know, I have a dog hair on my lips, but I don't know like, what to call this. So if you guys have like name suggestions of what you would call it, let me know because I am, uh, I'm at a loss. I'm at a loss. So if this is the first time you're seeing this, just let me give you the quick rundown. So it's kind of like a palette bingo, but we already have the randomly selected shades. These are all my pan those eyeshadow shades from this last round, round nine. So what we do is I have like a standard like go-to eyeshadow formula that I like to do. So generally it's two um, colors in the transition area and then an outer V shade, a lid shade, an inner corner highlight, and then a lower lash line shade. So that's six eyeshadows. So we have six eyeshadows. So we'll randomize the number. So number one, the first shadow that I put down would be my crease shade. So we'll randomize the number, like I said, and whatever number comes up, like hopefully it's one or five because that's our two matte shades. But um, you know, if like number three comes up, then we are gonna put that in our crease and we're just gonna follow that like formula. I think that the next time we do this, I'm gonna think of how to like do maybe like a halo eye or something like that, but still incorporate all six shadows randomly. So if that sounds like something that you are into, I am going to zoom in the camera just a little bit so that you can get like a good view of my eyeballs and we will just see <laughs> what the random number generator gives us as far as a look using all of the pan those eyeshadows. All right, so I also have to apologize. My eyes are like watering like crazy and uh, so yeah, so like this one, it's a little worse. You can see like how the makeup is like, I don't know, like smearing, smudging away. And so like what I usually do is just kind of like tap right there because like feeling that like wetness is really, it just kind of irks me. Um, so if you notice like the makeup looks funny in the corners right there, that's why my eyes are watering. So can't do anything about that. Anyway. We are gonna randomize our first number. So first, let me tell you how I have them swatched out. I just did this randomly, like as I picked up a palette. But this is Gourmet from the Kaleidos uh, Shishimi City palette. This is Carrot Cake, which is a ColourPop single that is now living in my Juvia's Place Saharan palette. This is uh, Lithuation from the Jackie Ina palette. This right here is Sheba from Juvia's Place, the Nubian 2 palette. This is um, in my ColourPop Blush Crush palette where I have like just random shades put in, but it's in the spot for the one, so that's what we're calling it. And then this last one down here is from the BH Cosmetics Galaxy Chic palette, and it is the color Moon. So like I said, we're gonna randomize our number. I have one through six put in here with prevent rerolls, and so whatever comes up first is what we're putting as our first transition shade. So we get shade six, so... <laughs> Oh, we gotta use Moon from the BH Cosmetics palette as our first transition shade. Here is uh, Moon in the pan right here. So it's this really pretty like kind of marbled color and it reminds me a lot of Cyborg from the um, ABH Sultry palette. But like I said, oh, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be bad. <laughs> okay.
don't think there's any coming back from this, having this shade as the first transition shade. Oh, do you think we'll ever get like a decent eye look? Like the last time it wasn't that bad, but this time I don't know if we're gonna like be able to pull this off, you know? It's uh, hmm, okay. Let's not, I don't wanna add any more. I feel like when I look at it in the viewfinder, you can't really see it all that well, the color but it's such like I could see it going purple really quickly and looking like just like a bruise so I'm going to lay off of that color and we're going to randomize our second transition shade so we get number four so number four for us one two three four <laughs> it's the Sheba shade from the Juvia's Place the Nubian 2 palette like Oh, uh, I was kind of hoping that would be like the outer V shade or something. <sighs> okay. So here is what Sheba is looking like. And I cleaned off this brush on like my little um, thing. Um, so I'm just going to use the same fluffy brush. This is um, one of the crown brushes, I think. But yeah, so Sheba is just going to go into our transition area, just like kind of right under, I'm not gonna bring it up as far as I did that moon shade. All right, so this is what the transition area is looking like. I have the too much jean and there's part of me that's like go in with another layer on that Sheba shade and then the other part of me is like mm -mm, don't do it don't do it so we're not going to so we're gonna retire that shade so now we're gonna do our outer V shade and I always put that obviously in my outer V and then I do kind of um, blend it out onto the lid and kind of into just like this little eye socket area right here um, and then once we put on the lid shade, I might go back in and like deepen up and fix the outer V a little bit. But we got to roll to see what shade our outer V is going to be. So we get number five, which is the matte pink shade from the ColourPop palette. So how fun, how fun. This is what that shade is currently looking like. So <laughs> all right. All right, I am going to take a different brush. It's more of like a like domed brush from e.l.f. instead of like that fluffy blending brush from Crown. It takes a lot to like build this up. Like that's two swatches i don't know if i said that but like so i'm gonna go back in with like a second layer to make the pink just more noticeable and a little bit darker than like how you're seeing it now Well, you know what? No, we could we could still get the first matte shade as our lid shade. So, <laughs> okay, lid shade. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. I need to quit putting things out into the universe. Do you see this? One. Do you see what's swatched out first on my hand? It's the last matte shade. Of course, that's our lid shade, and that means that our inner corner highlight is at least gonna be something glittery, but our lower lash line is probably also gonna be something shimmery. And I'm not opposed to that, but I just wanted some shimmer on the lid because the last time we did this, I'm fairly certain that we ended up with the matte shade on the lid as well, so. All right, the first shade is from Kaleidos, the Shishimi City palette. And it is this nice, like, orangey brown, kind of yellow shade, you know? Um, so yeah, that is our lid shade. <laughs> <laughs> um, do I have a brush pulled out for a lid shade? No, I don't. <clears throat> what brush shall we use? Because I was kind of just hoping for a, you know, 
shimmer shade, like I said, and I was just gonna use my finger, but I guess not. I'm just gonna take this brush from Urban Decay. It came with my Naked 2 palette. I'm gonna use like probably a combination of both sides to put this on my lid. Here's our eye look so far. Okay, inner corner, inner corner. Let's just go, and I noticed I have like the eye gunk in my corner. Give me just a moment. All right, so the last two, which we're still gonna roll for. I mean, we won't we won't roll for the lower lash line because there's only gonna be one left, but either this gold shade or the Lithuation shade could end up being our inner corner. So let's see what we end up getting. Number three, one, two, three. So the Lithuation shade from the ABH Jackie Ina palette is going to be our inner corner and so Carrot Cake is going to be our lower lash line shade and my foot is falling asleep. So here is what that shade Lithuation looks like. Sorry, there's like kind of a shadow and the packaging is reflective, but it's a really pretty shade, but just not an inner corner shade. So I'm just going to take this like little brush like this from Alamar Cosmetics. Isn't that a nice fun inner corner? It looks so weird in the viewfinder. Okay, so then the last shade, I still have yet to glue it into the palette, but Here's Carrot Cake from our, it's a ColourPop single, but it's going in my Juvia's Place Saharan palette in place of the Wodabi shade. And I'm just taking like a Morphe angled brush. This is, um, just in case you're curious, it's the M165, I believe. And I just really like this for like a lower lash line brush. <laughs> until you have all the fixins and the trimmings on. So let me be right back and I will have um, my Peachy Nude Eyeliner and Mascara and Eyelash Primer all in. So Peachy Nude Eyeliner from Essence. I use the Milani, the Violet One Mascara, like Lash Primer. And then I just have this CoverGirl um, Flourish Lash Lashscara is what I almost called it. That's how this day is going. So I will Okay, so I didn't actually put on lash primer because since my eyes are watering so bad, I'm just going to take this off like as soon as I'm done filming. But here's the final look. So I will say like when I look at it in the mirror and not so much on the viewfinder though, but this eye, um, that moon shade that we put in first looks a lot darker. I think part of that might be um, that since a lot of these shades are like marble, it's a little bit like hard to get it to be the exact same color. And if you were using this as like a lid shade, I don't think it would be like as noticeable. Um, so the takeaway from this is that the random number generator does not like to work with us. However, I will say I really do like that like the gourmet shade from Kaleidos almost looks more peachy next to that pink like that. And I really don't mind that being on the lids and like fading into each other. And so I think maybe I'll do something similar, have like obviously different transition shades, but do like the um, Kaleido shade into the ColourPop shade and then maybe put on like a fun glitter or something. But that is it. That is our eye look. I, you know, we're gonna keep doing this. It is a lot of fun, even though this look is like not one that I would recommend that you wear unless you're just really into like the dark inner corner, which I'm not. I keep looking at it in the viewfinder and it's just like, I feel like I have something like right here that I need to like pick off my face, you know? 
Um, but maybe one day, maybe one day we will get lucky with our Panda's eyeshadows and the random number generator and we'll come up with something that's amazing. So until that day, I thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in and I hope you're having a good day or a good night or whatever and I will catch you in the next video. Bye!